Today, I'm going to show you how to turn an image into a 3D model using Meshi AI. This will be a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to turn an image into a 3D model using Meshi AI. Step number one, what we want to do is find your image and then bring it into Canva. To go to Canva, you just have to go to canva.com. And then what we're going to do here is upload your files into Canva right here. I have found I'm going to be doing this dog right here. And then next what you want to do here is you want to increase the sizing of your photo and then you also want to remove the background. This helps Meshi AI read the image to turn it into a 3D model. And I also advise you increase the sizing to the best of your ability. And then if you want to remove certain things that you don't want on your model, for example, I don't want the rest of this leash on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the magic eraser feature, just click on edit use the magic eraser, and then I am going to remove this to the best of my ability. So then click erase, and now when I go to make my 3D model, it won't have that on there. So then I'm gonna click X. Step number two, what we next wanna do is you want to download the image. So go up in the right-hand corner, click on share, and then we need to download the image. It can be a PNG or a JPEG, the larger the file, the better. Let's do 1050 by 1050. This just allows Meshi AI to look at it better and analyze it with AI. So download that file. Step number three, what we need to do next is go to Meshi.ai. And I'll put my affiliate link in the description. This tool is absolutely amazing. I love it. I cannot get enough of it. This is what the dashboard looks like. There's a couple different features here. As you can see here, there's four buttons right here in the navigation. What we wanna click on is this image to 3D feature. So click here. And this is what the dashboard looks like for the feature of turning an image into a 3D model. So there's a lot of different settings and you could easily become extremely overwhelmed by all the navigation over here on the left, but I promise this is actually way easier than it looks. So what we need to do here is we need to click right here where it says click, drop, and drag or paste your image. So click here, and then a prompt is gonna open up to upload the image that you wanna upload to have it turn into a 3D model. And then scroll down a little bit here, it asks the AI model. I highly advise you do the upgraded model, which is Meshi 6, maybe it's Meshi 8 by the time you're watching this, who knows. Um, and then name your file, I'm going to name this dog and then click on generate. So within about 20 seconds, we just created a file from the image that we uploaded into Meshi AI. Like take a second and realize what we just did. Like this is absolutely mind blowing. Take a look at the dog here again. This is the dog right here. It has the chain where she tied it in a knot. And then you can even see it there. And it even, look at all the detail here. Like it's crazy, it has a little tail here. I may have to fix this in editing in the slicer, but it is what it is. Like it's absolutely crazy. And then say if you wanted to edit the 3D model, what you can do over here is click on some of these buttons right here. Like if we click on remesh, what it'll actually do is it'll turn it into color as well. So let's do that, click on confirm. All right, so here he is with color and you can actually save this 3D model to have the color and you could actually 3D print it with color as well, which is mind blowing. I think we need to take a second and just think about this. We just used an AI tool known as Meshi AI and we turned an image into a 3D model. Maybe you want to 3D print it, maybe you want to do whatever you want with it. It's still absolutely crazy. Again, the affiliate link will be in the description to Meshi AI. This tool is nuts. And then also say if you wanted to edit a section of it, what we could do here is go back to the normal STL file and then click on texture here and you can actually put a text input here. Say if you wanted to change the styling, you just put a prompt in here and then click texture and it will change it for you. I will say one of the biggest cons to this tool is it's really hard to edit the files. Like I would, if I were to give you any advice, Try to get the file correct from the get-go because editing these files, you're gonna have to manually do it in a different program because it's hard and meshy AI. All right, and then quickly, I wanna show you guys, I actually 3D printed this model right here and I wanna show you guys what that looks like. So check this out. This is a video from my 3D printing channel. Here is the photo. There we did it into a 3D model and then here it is on the printer. Check that out. Like, isn't that crazy? Like, I'm still thoroughly blown away. I gave my friend the, the dog and she just like lost her complete mind. So I wanna show you guys some of the other models that we created. What's really cool about Meshi AI is you can actually just give it prompts as well. So then what you have to do here is, here's a pair of glasses that we created. Uh, the prompt was create ultra realistic 3D model of a stylish modern pair of eyeglasses. What I do is I just get into ChatGPT and I tell it to make me a prompt for Meshi AI. I highly advise you do that as well. It works extremely well. 
So then uh, I did get a comment the other day on someone saying that we couldn't do super hard items or we couldn't 3D model hard items. So I was like, you know what, let's do a car. And here it is. Here's the picture of the car right here. And here's the model. Like, it's crazy, right? It just does it. It, it, it. Like, hit me up in the comments. Like, how blown away are you from this tool? These AI modeling tools, absolutely insane. Here is a model that we actually made from a drawing. Let me show you this here. So this is a drawing a child drew me. And somebody emailed me this drawing and said, hey, man, my child drew me this. Can you turn this into a 3D model? And I said, yeah, for sure. And I said, is that a Roblox character? And he said, yes. So we made a custom Roblox character. I told ChatGPT to turn it into an actual character from the drawing. And then we put it into Meshi AI. And look at what it came up with. Like, it's crazy. Here is the image over here. And then I added the color to it. And it looks absolutely more crazy. I mean, why I sent them the file. They 3D printed it. Like, I I'm still thoroughly blown away by how easy this tool is to use. My daughter was asking me for a small little table that we could 3D print and turn into a 3D model that she could use with her Barbies. We did it. It worked. It took 20 seconds to do. I just gave it a text prompt and it did it. My dad asked me to 3D model some fittings because he's a plumber. It did this in about 20 seconds. I gave it a text prompt from ChatGPT and it made it. Wanted some fake poop to 3D print, it made some models and we did it. My daughter was wanting me to 3D print a small little bathtub for some of her toys. She loves playing with these small little toys. It made it. And real quickly, I'll show you the other super popular feature here in Meshi AI. So it's this one right here, it's called Text to 3D. All you do is click on it and then what you do is you write a prompt on what you wanted to create a 3D model on. What I do is I go to ChatGPT and I just ask it. I'm gonna talk to it, so don't judge me. Can you please write me a prompt for Meshi AI to have it create me a 3D model on a knife? All right, so here's the prompt it created. It says, create a highly detailed photorealistic 3D model of a tactical knife. So I'm gonna right click, copy that. Then I'm gonna paste it into here for the prompt. And then I'm going to click on generate. And then what it does is it actually creates four 3D models for you and you choose which one you wanna use. So these look actually really good. I'm gonna choose this one, then click confirm on which one you choose. All right, so here is the model. Look at this. It's absolutely crazy. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Back to the tutorial guys here, once you've made your 3D model in Meshi AI, all you have to do is hit the download button down here where it says download. If you are saving a file that has color in it, like this one here, you need to make sure that when you download the file, when you click here, it's gonna ask you what format you wanna save it in. I highly suggest you choose OBJ because that helps save the colors going along with the 3D file. But if you're looking to save a single color 3D file, all you have to do is click download and then just save an STL file or a .3MF file. Then you can do whatever you want with that 3D model file. Hopefully this helped you learn how to turn any image into a 3D model using Meshi AI. This was a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to turn an image into a 3D model using Meshi AI. Hit me up in the comments down below. My affiliate link will be in the description to Meshi AI. And please consider subscribing.